Hi, my name is Rajat. I'm an engineer with National Instruments. Today I want to introduce you to the PXI Express 5665, which is the highest performance vector signal analyzer in the market. This vector signal analyzer is highly optimized for automated test, requ uh, test requirements which need high performance and is also ideal for a different variety of standards such as WCDMA, GPS, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi, which are typical tests that you would do on a cell phone, for example. Today, to, to really show you the accuracy of the 5665, we're going to compare it with an Agilent PXA, which for the last few years has been known as the highest accuracy vector signal analyzer available in the market. I'm going to be doing a couple of different tests on different standards here. We're going to be doing an EVM or error vector magnitude test on an LTE signal, and we're going to be do an, doing an ACP or adjacent channel power measurement on a WCDMA signal. Let's quickly go ahead and look at, this, look at the setup that we have today. What I have is an 18-slot PXI Express chassis with an embedded 8133 controller, which is featuring the Intel i7 processor. I have the 5665 in this chassis as well, and I'm using a National Instruments vector signal generator to generate the signals. The signals come across this cable and go across a splitter, which then reaches the 5665 and the Agilent PXA. So both instruments are getting the same signal at the same time. All right, so most of you already know that the NIPXI platform is highly optimized for automated test where, where test speed is important. That is what we're going to show you in the first demo here. What you see on your screen is the National Instruments 5665 and the measurements that it's taking on the left, and the Agilent PXA and the, measurements that it, and the time measurements that it's taking on the right. Let's go ahead and click on Run. Now, of course, the first measurement that we're doing here is for LTE and measuring the EVM. And you see that the, because of the PCI Express architecture and all the processing that's performed in software, the 5665 takes about 500 milliseconds to do the entire LTE EVM test. Whereas the PXA takes about 11 seconds only for setting itself up for LTE. The total test, including LTE and WCDMA, took about 609 milliseconds for the, P for the PXI Express 5665, whereas it took about 12.8 seconds for the Agilent PXA. This makes the NI5665 about 20 to 21 times faster than the Agilent PXA. Now, test speed is one thing, but what I really want to show you is that the 5665 is also bringing world-class accuracy to the PXI platform. Let's go ahead and switch over to the next tab. Here again, the first test that we're going to run is the LTE EVM test. You'll see that the 5665 starts acquiring the signal, and the constellation plot for the LTE EVM is displayed on your screen. The EVM measurement that the 5665 is making is about negative 56 dB. Of course, lower the EVM measurement, the better the performance of the instrument. Once the Agilent PXA finally starts making a measurement and displaying it, it's taking about negative 50, uh, negative 50 dB of measurements on the EVM measurement. So we are about 6 to 7 dB better than the Agilent PXA for the LTE EVM test. Let's go ahead and try another standard as well. I'm going to switch over to the WCDMA now and click on Run. Again, the, v the vector signal generator starts generating the signal, and the 5665 starts acquiring and showing you that spectrum. Uh, you can see the spectrum on the Agilent PXA as well. Here for the mean ACP or adjacent channel power measurement, we're making about negative 73 dB me uh, in measurements. And on the Agilent PXA as well, it's about negative 73.5 dB. So we're almost equal when it comes to ACP measurements for WCDMA. Now, this demo shows you that while the NI5665 is about 20 times faster when it comes to test speed, it is also equal, if not better, in accuracy than the Agilent PXA. Of course, it's also 40% less expensive and about one-tenth the size of the Agilent PXA. Now, the PXI platform also brings you a whole lot of other benefits, such as modularity and scalability. For example, all the empty slots that you're probably seeing in, in the PXI Express chassis we can fill it in with more instruments, such as more vector signal analyzers for channel expansion, or we can even put in an NI Flex Rio board, which has an open FPGA for real-time processing. Let's quickly go ahead and shut down this chassis and plug these instruments in for the next demo. 
All right, now we have powered up the system, and let's go ahead and take a look at the instruments that we have plugged in. Here we have added two new vector signal analyzers to my system, now making the number of VSA channels in the system three. If you wanted to reproduce something like this in a rack and stack instrumentation sy system, you would have to add more instruments, thus making your entire system bulky. We've also added an NI Flex Rio FPGA module, which features an onboard FPGA that can be programmed with LabVIEW FPGA. We're using a new technology provided by National Instruments called peer-to-peer -peer streaming which allows us to stream all of the data acquired by both the vector signal analyzers to the NI Flex Rio FPGA module. And we're performing a real-time FFT on the Flex Rio module. Let's take a look at this in LabVIEW FPGA and on my front panel here. So what you're seeing on the front panel here is the spectrums acquired by both the vector signal analyzers. As you can see that we're streaming both of those spectrums at about 500 megabytes per second across the backplane of the PXI chassis. We're performing about 122,000 FFTs per second on the NI Flex Rio module and then displaying the spectrums on the screen. The advantage of peer-to-peer -peer streaming is that we never miss a single sample acquired by both vector signal analyzers and at the same time, we're performing an inline, real-time processing along with the acquisition of the system. So as you can see, NIPXI instruments are ideal for automated tests. We can make your tests about 20 times faster, provide better accuracy than most traditional instruments, and we provide the flexibility that you need for your ever-changing test requirements.